water is vital for all known forms of life. Even though Earth is 71% covered in water, water is only 0.5% of Earth's mass. 97% of water is in the oceans. 1.7% of water is ice as glaciers and the polar ice caps. Another 0.7% of water is in clouds, soil, or polluted. 0.1% of water is too deep underground to reach. That leaves 0.5% of water for all life to share. As human population grows, we deplete the meager 0.5% we have. Until we use up what we have. Like this once beautiful lake. Or this lake outside Cape Town, South Africa. In 2050, the UN estimates the human population to reach 9.7 billion from the 7.7 .7 billion it is now. The UN estimates water usage to increase 25 to 30 percent by 2050. That would double the population affected by water scarcity. Risk for countries to enter a water crisis are rising. In 1990, Earth had 5.3 billion people. Now, it has more than 7.7 .7 billion people. Global water use has increased from 3 million cubic meters in 1990 to 4 million now. Does conservation seem hopeless? What about desalination? Desalination is expensive, but it does create drinkable water. Unfortunately, desalination pollutes the oceans with salt. Threatening marine life, which is one half of the world's food supply. Desalination is an expensive bandage for water scarcity. Stanford University describes desalination as supplemental, not as a cure-all. droughts, population, and changing climates. We are running out of time. Even in the United States, water systems are strained. Irrigation, consumption, and infrastructure are depleting water systems at an unsustainable rate. The Colorado River continues to recede. Rainfall continues to decrease. Struggling with droughts, the Colorado River basins are drying up. Previous areas underwater are now permanently above water. The water sources for irrigation are failing at record levels. Lake Mead, located in Nevada, is currently facing a crisis-level water reduction. The normal levels are visible by the discoloration. The reduction continues to be significant and worsening. According to U.S. drought monitoring, less than 1% of the western United States is drought-free. Lake Mead is at the lowest levels in recent history. The original intake calves for Hoover Dam are now above water and no longer functional. A new intake tunnel had to be dug, taking seven years to complete. Although Hoover Dam now has water access, the new intake is nearly above water. Reducing snowfall in 2022 puts the lake at further risk of becoming a dead pool. More than 60% of the land in the western United States is under extreme or exceptional drought conditions. 
the Colorado River no longer empties into an ocean. Imagine, in only three years' time, Cape Town almost ran out of water. And in 30 months since, restored reservoirs to 100%. Conservation is essential. Water infrastructure and efficiency must be improved. Or the next generation will be deciding who and where will go without water. Scarcity is now. Depletion is the future. We are in a 2022 ongoing world water crisis. An estimated $1.7 trillion will be required to update water infrastructure in the U.S. alone. A majority of the investment will go to utilities for management and billable revenue loss. Stay ahead of your water loss and lost revenue and keep your utility running at its best. Zenner offers a combination of communication tech, precision meters, warranties, financing, and expertise to ensure utilities throughout the world have access to affordable and efficient water solutions.